All right, greetings, everybody. Let's take a look at uh, some fluid calculations. I'm just going to give a practice example here so that you have something to work from when you're working by yourself. All right, so let's take a look at this. We'll continue to build on these. So this is the very foundational step. Let's just say that we have to calculate a volume to be administered to a patient, a total volume. So we're going to be told uh, patient weighs 220 pounds, and we are going to take that patient, and we're going to say that we need to administer 20 milliliters of lactated ringers per kilogram of patient body weight. All right, that's it. So we're just going to be looking for the total volume at this point, total volume to be infused. So we're not going to worry about time. We're not going to worry about how many drops per second yet. We're just going to do this first step, as is the case with all scenarios in EMS and in medicine for the most part. We're going to need to first convert those pounds into kilograms. So let's do that first. I'm going to do everything with dimensional analysis. That's where we're going to show all the steps, show all the units. If you feel that you don't need that, then so be it. Uh, but this is for uh, the person at the very uh, beginning of all this stuff. So let's take our 220 pounds. We're going to convert that into kilos. We're going to put pounds at the bottom. All right, so 2.2 pounds for every one kilogram. All right, so you need to know these ratios. There's no getting around that. And then you can start eliminating in dimensional analysis. You can start getting rid of the tops and the bottoms that are the same. So in this case, this is actually 220 pounds over 1, which we don't write. It's assumed. And the bottom, the bottom of this equation here, the, um, the denominator here is 2.2. So we're going to get rid of the pounds here. We're going to be left with kilograms, which is actually exactly what we need. So this tells us, in fact, when we do this multiplication, that we're going to find out we're going to end up with kilograms is our unit of measure, which is exactly what we need. So 220 divided by 2.2 easy number. You can do that in your head. If not, you can use a calculator, but we're at 100 kilograms. So this is the very first step. Now we have a patient body weight that we can work with. Now up here we were told that the order was for 20 milliliters of lactated ringer per kilogram of body weight. So we're going to take this 120 kilograms and we're going to say that we need to administer 20 milliliters of lactated ringers for every one kilogram of body weight. So again, you can get rid of your kilos here and do the math here, you're going to end up with 2,000 milliliters. So be careful here. There's a 20 times 100 is not 200, it's 2,000. So be careful. So this is our answer here. Our answer is 2,000 milliliters. This is the number that we were after, and 2,000 milliliters would be the total volume to be administered to this patient. All right, so this was to calculate a total volume only. We'll come back and we're going to continue on with the next step of this in the next video.